Well, the guys just picked up our couch. There's where it was. And they just loaded it into the truck and they're getting ready to roll out. Little lady is in here making some spring rolls. Look at that. Not bad for the first time. I think they're absolutely delicious. <clears throat> and then we're, show, show us what kind of sauce we're putting on, babe. Look at this, yeah. it's called, it's called bitchin' chipotle sauce. <laughs> when I first saw that in the cart, I was like, what is bitchin? I thought it was some <laughs> oriental thing or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get out of your way. So she's making a video of that. Are you making a whole video? Uh -huh. Okay, she's making a video for that. If you want to see it, it'll be on her channel, which is called Life Unboxed. Yeah, look how weird that looks without the couch over there. We're going to have to sweep that up, sweep this rug, move this couch over here. And I don't even know how long this the other one will be gone. But anyway, so I'm going to take you onto the deck back here for a minute. But first, we are over at the Great Escape. And I'm going to take you guys back here and show you some of these hot tubs that we looked at the other day. As well as the one that we bought. Here are a whole bunch of them that don't have any water in them here. And we looked at all of these. I like the color on this one, but this one's a little bit smaller than what I really wanted. I mean, there's still, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seats in there at least. And that looks really nice, but I wanted to make sure that we got a big one that was really deep. We were looking at this one and really contemplating it because I love the way that this looks. This is a Sundance, but it's just not very deep. And I don't want to be sitting in one and have the water only come up to my shoulders. And there's several other different kinds and styles and colors and everything. I mean, they all look awesome. Like, look at this one here. This one actually has the regular seats and it has like the, I guess you call it a reclining area over there, which I really like. What I don't like about that though, is that if you have a bunch of people in there, the one reclining area takes up what would be like three seats. There's this cute little small one here by Viking, and it's got a reclining area and then two seats. I really like that, but way too small for what I want. I love the way that this one looks, how it kind of goes up and contours up in the back, but I don't like the white, and I wanted to buy something that was in stock. Now, these back here all have water in them, and uh, so you can kind of you know, look at them with the water. They all have their lids down, except for this one, it doesn't have any water. But, uh, but let's look at this one right here. So this is the lid, like I was talking about. You can see on this one how it's like, it's connected, but it's like two pieces. So when you wanna open it up, you fold it over. And then this is the mechanism back here that actually connects onto the hot tub. And this folds up over this, you fold this over that, and then you fold it up and it holds the cover on the side here so that doesn't have to be on the ground and so that you don't have to try to pick it up and put it back on. I do like this handle here and I ordered one from Amazon but it's not one that you connect actually right onto the hot tub itself. It's just like this but it goes down and slides under the hot tub. But let's get back to what we were going to do here. I'm going to open this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. The air coming out of there and it smells so good. And this here is the structure. Like I kind of want to get one of those um, to go over the hot tub, but I want something that's bigger than that. But let's come back out here and I'll show you that this is the one that we actually bought right here. Sold Rambod. We bought it on February 5th and it's gonna be delivered in about a week here. It's a Bullfrog X-Series, and this one actually is a floor model that we bought. It used to be back there in the cove, right where the one that I just showed you with the water is. A Couple of flat areas for drinks here. Over on that side is where the steps will be, so you'll step in and down and down in, and look how deep this thing is, man. I love this thing so much, guys. It's enormous, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six seats at least. Somebody could sit on there, too. Not that I plan on having eight people in here all the time. <laughs> I wanna hog it myself. Just me and my lady. I like how there's a different style and setup of jets in each seat as well a couple of jets down here for your feet and then we've even got a sound system on this and then this right here is like a waterfall if i can find a video online i'll put it on here so you can see what that's going to look like 
but it creates a waterfall down there. Okay, let's get back to the house. The hot tub itself is coming next Thursday. The electrician is coming on Friday. And they're not only gonna hook up the hot tub, they're also gonna put an outlet out here so we can have like a TV or some lights or something like that if we want. And I'm also having them upgrade the electric to the entire house from a 100 to a 200 so it's going to be absolutely awesome there's not going to be any of this crap where like we get in the hot tub turn it on and then it shuts down half the house because it's pulling so much electric but today it is an awesome 50 degrees in ohio last year at this time it was like zero degrees there was two feet of snow on the ground so this is a perfect day to be out here kind of looking at the deck and planning this so here's what we've been looking at here the hot tub itself, like I said, is eight feet by eight feet. This deck here is 12 feet by 32 feet, I think. From this railing right here to the house is 12 feet. And from this railing here up to this railing here is another 12 feet. So this is a 12 foot square back here that we have to work with for the hot tub area. Oh, it's gonna be so awesome, I cannot wait. So the hot tub itself, is gonna sit right here. We're gonna have about two feet on each side. It's gonna be about one to two feet in the back here. So what we're looking at now is we wanna put up some kind of a structure like a gazebo or a pergola, uh, whatever you wanna call it, um, over this entire 12 foot area here, the entire 12 foot square. We want the hot tub to be inside it. We want a roof on top so we could be out here when it's snowing or raining. I wanna put some kind of a, like a little bench or something, maybe over here where you can sit down, you can dry off. And having it 12 feet out this way, that's plenty of room where we can put that still underneath the roof. So we've been looking at a handful of different ones um, on Amazon, Lowe's, Home Depot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a picture of this area here, and I'm gonna try to take some of those pictures from the internet and lay it out to have a better idea of what it will look like when we have the hot tub and the enclosure. So I think this is probably the best way that we can envision this. So first let's go ahead and see if we can plop a hot tub down there. Okay, I guess that looks pretty good. <laughs> and now I want to try a couple of different gazebos, pergolas, whatever the heck you want to call them. So let's put this one up here that has just basically a split roof. I like the way that one looks, and I can kind of envision it with some string lights around the top and, you know, kicking back in there watching TV, or when it's like snowing real hard, you're just kind of kicked back watching the snow fall down around you. But let's go ahead and see what it would look like with one of these other four-piece roofs. And I think that looks really cool, too. Again, I can envision the lights around there and just, you know, kicking back, enjoying the hot tub. I'm going to have to run these pictures by Marion and see what she thinks, and uh, we'll make a decision here, and then we will let you guys know what happens so there it is guys that's the video for today just taking a little bit of time to make some decisions on how we want this deck to look with the new hot tub you guys let me know in the comments below which one you think looks better and then we'll make some decisions and you guys can stay tuned and see what we come up with out here it is actually starting to rain now so i'm going to wrap it up and get inside and i will see you guys in the next video